So I'm doing a quick video on cleaning the heads on the Epson 2550 and the same procedure for the Epson ET4500. You clean them the same way. So let me just show you what's going on. I just printed out um, the, it prints out a printer head check uh, printout, which looks like this. Let me just show you. On the 2550, I got the printout on the printer head check like this. This is what you want. This represents all the colors within the printer. As you can see, let me just show you. I'm going to call them what, how I see them. Black, yellow, maroon, and blue. These are all the colors within the printer. Okay. If you're getting streaks on your printouts, whether it be text documents, photos, uh, say blurriness, something's wrong with your printout. If your printout looks like this, you need to run a maintenance check and a nozzle or a head cleaning. Uh, you have to do a head cleaning on these printers. So I spoke to an Epson uh, customer service many years ago when I knew nothing about doing the maintenance check and the cleaning of the nozzles. And they explained to me that after every, I think, thousand printouts or at least once a month, you're supposed to run a, a head cleaning on the printer to get it so that um, I guess it aligns and all the print heads don't get clogged. I, I'm not sure what it's doing, but it's going to clean it. And what you're looking for is to, these are like jagged lines from left to right. What you want is a complete line from left to right or from right to left. And you don't want any missing segments, any missing areas within these colors at all. If any colors are missing or any lines are missing, you need to clean the heads. If the printout that you do this, um, this printout here, if it prints out and it looks like that, you need to do a nozzle cleaning, okay? Or a head cleaning. Now on the 4500, this is what I got. And the 2550, it's perfect. I did a, uh, a nozzle cleaning or head cleaning about a week ago. So that's why it looks like this. And this is what you're looking for. So I just ran a cleaning on the actual 4500. So now, we do, now we're going to click, oh, we're going to click OK to um, print out. show you print nozzle check page is that what it says nozzle check pattern click OK print nozzle check pattern and now we're gonna click print and now it's gonna print out this page here and what again what we're looking for is to get straight lines from left to right with no missing segments no missing lines if you're missing lines like this, that means you're getting blurry pictures, streaks, all kinds of issues with your printer or printout. So let's see how it looks now. But I think I'm gonna have to still run it. Yep, as you can see, getting a little bit better. I can actually see much more lines than the first one I ran. And you're gonna run the nozzle cleaning until you get this. This is what you want, this is perfect. And you won't have any blurry pictures, streaks, any issues with your printouts. So now I gotta run a cleaning and you run the cleaning as many times as it takes until you get this page here. Oh, uh, this, this uh, printout here, this is what you want. If you're getting this, your printouts are gonna look awful. So let's look at the menu. Clean the print head. I'm going to click OK. And then to click Start, we come all the way to the end here. And click on this, Start. And now it's doing a cleaning print head, OK? And you're going to run that print, that maintenance check, that printout, and that cleaning heads until you get this. I know it's a waste of paper, but you got to get it like this or the printer's, you know, no good. It's gonna, all your printouts are gonna look like this. You don't want that. So again, this is the first one I print out, printed, printed out on the 4500. 
This is how it's looking now. This is the second print head cleaning I did. And when I first found out about cleaning uh, or doing a maintenance check or a head cleaning, I think it took me about 25 time, 25 cleanings before I ended up with this. I was getting this and I had to run it about 25 times the cleaning until I got this. So if it takes you that long, there's nothing wrong with the printer. Just keep running it. Eventually it will look like this. All right. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. Thank you for watching. Bye.